Hey Penguin Platform, my name is Lex Croucher, I have a YouTube channel under the same name and I am here today to help you get the most out of your winter holidays. At this time of year most people get at least a long weekend of school or work. The lucky ones get a week and the ones we're really super happy for, like university students, get more than a fortnight. Use it wisely, we're not mad. For those of you in retail who aren't getting any proper time off, we will light a candle for you. I hope you at least get a couple of days off to relax. Anyway, here are some tips for making the most of any time off you might have this winter. If there is ever a time to binge watch TV with no guilt, it is now. Grab a selection box and any passing pets. Settle down in front of your TV or your laptop and enjoy the fact that Netflix auto plays the next episode so the only exercise you have to do for the foreseeable future is blinking. Why yes, thank you, I have been working out. There is a whole new season of The Crown on Netflix right now and I don't mean to ruin your productivity when you're already watching a YouTube video, but they put Love Actually on there as well. Please at least stay to watch the rest of this video. If there's a new skill or interest that you've been thinking about incorporating into your life, maybe through your New Year's resolutions, and you're actually really excited about it and it's like a positive, fun thing, don't wait till January, start now. In January, it's cold and grim with no promise of holiday magic and you're back at work or school cracking on. Whereas right now, you actually have some free time. If you want to become an expert in 18th century hairdressing implements or start jogging, do it now. I actually started running properly for the first time about a week before before Christmas a few years ago, and it lasted many, many months before I completely gave up and started researching the hairdressing implements. There's a weird pressure as well around New Year's resolutions, so just take the pressure off and start now. If you don't fancy setting off for a jog, might I recommend some reading? At my parents' house we actually have a fire, so I get to sit by the fire in a chair next to the Christmas tree reading a book, just like all the people on Instagram. I am about 30 books behind on my 50 book reading challenge for the year, but I reckoned a long weekend in front of the fire will just sort that right out. I'm actually just going to focus on a couple of books that I really want to read before the year is over. Um, so Philip Pullman's Book of Dust Volume 1 and Ali Smith's Winter are top of my list right now. The time I spend reading is time spent not looking at a screen and that will really help me feel like I actually took a break over the winter rather than just spending the entire holiday tweeting about the horrifically embarrassing things that my dad is saying to my boyfriend. Christmas is such a magical time to bring people together. Another thing I think is really important is making time for naps. Sure, it's about spending time with your loved ones or celebrating any religious days that you might be into, but let's not forget the most important loved one of all yourself. Over winter break, napping is not embarrassing or inconvenient, it is mandatory. So whether you fall asleep after eating Christmas dinner or in front of the TV while you're watching a children's film, embrace the time that you spend unconscious. Just make sure you're not a little bit too close to the fire and a little bit too flammable due to overindulgence of chocolate liqueurs. So tell me, what do you do over your winter break? Do you have any traditions that help you unwind at this time of year? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you have a wonderful break with plenty of time to read, relax, and not set yourself on fire. I have made a video over on my channel about judging books by their covers, so please do check that out and subscribe. Merry Holidays!